Hello fellow YouTubers. In this super quick tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use an LED as a light sensor, or otherwise known as a photodiode. LEDs or light emitting diodes are quickly becoming a super common method of lighting, but it is lesser known that they can also be used to detect light. The required circuit is extremely simple and consists of just a single LED. You can see here, that I have four LEDs that share a common ground, but are in open circuit configuration. This means that the respective LEDs have a light induced, can have a light induced voltage across them, but no recurrent will flow across them. The goal here is to show how certain color LEDs react to white light. And depending on the application, you might like to choose one color over another. Although I will not show it here, the LEDs will behave differently if you put under a single color light, and certain color LEDs may not respond to certain color lights. First off, I'll just show you that all these LEDs are operable. So I've got a tie down resistor here, and the four LEDs in parallel but still in open circuit. So got an orange LED here, yellow, green, and finally red. Oops. Red there. In this second setup, the LEDs are as they were before, in an open circuit configuration with a common ground. I've removed the resistor as it's no longer required to regulate the power to the LEDs, and I've also removed the power source. There is a multimeter here, configured to read in millivolts, and its composite ground cable is also plugged into the common ground of the LEDs. Now when I introduce a positive lead to each LED, they will read a small voltage across them. Under ambient light, this is quite minor. You can see only 0.5 millivolt, 0.2 of a millivolt, 0.1 of a millivolt, and 0.1 of a millivolt, which may even be internal inside the multimeter. Although, if I introduce a more powerful light source, the potential voltage produced across them can be quite substantial. So I've just got here a mobile flashlight. And you can clearly see that each LED responds differently to the white light. Some inducing a greater potential voltage across them, while others is quite minor. And the red LED for some reason seems to read at zero but we saw before that it was still operational. There's little consensus to which LED reacts better to light with more preferable results, probably due to manufacturing tolerances and difference in design from one LED to another. Experiment yourself to conclude the best LED for your application.